All right, Floyd, I am at Tim and Jessica Brindle, uh, Roosevelt Drive in Chambersburg. I'm going to start in the back bathroom, and then we'll go to the other one. Uh, the only thing that we are doing in this bathroom is installing a new faucet. Um, everything else stays. Um, the spray head, the sprayer hanging down there, they want to reuse that. We are going to need to put a, because uh, there's a three hole here, now we're going to have to put the single hole plate on um, and then the single lever delta faucet. So that is it for this bathroom. So, but there's a little something interesting I'm going to walk around and show you. So I'm going to walk around here. Here is where the majority of the work is. Now, why I tell you it's interesting, because the faucet that you just looked at is right behind that wall. So, starting here, um, all the tile goes. Tile in the shower goes, um, tile on the wall goes, everything goes as far as the tile. Um, so obviously we got tile around here as well, whole way around. Toilet goes, we need to replace new valve, new escutcheon, new supply, the toilet goes, mirror goes, light goes. There will be a new mirror to put up and a new light fixture to put up. Now, um, we need to remove the wire from there. We're going to put the wire here because there's going to be a light fixture hung over the mirror. Um, the fan light combo stays. Um, as far as the vanity, the vanity top is going to go, the vanity is going to stay. So, um, I, I can't tell whether this tile is cut around it or whether the tile is on the wall and the vanity is in front of it. Um, so, really won't know what's going on until we get here with that. I hate to have to take that vanity out because of the age of it, but might need to because of the tile behind it. I don't know, you might be able to cut it out around it, I'm not sure. Basically, wherever there is tile out here, I need you to drywall, get ready to be painted. Um, clients are gonna paint it. Getting a new floor, so the floor, you don't have to worry about that. So spinning around here, um, going to a shower, so of course all this is coming out. Um, I did explain that it's possible the first day might not have any ability to shower, but possibly the second day we'll be able to use the one in the back. So with that being said, as long as we really one of the first things after we get demo and get all this stuff out of here, we want to try to get that faucet in the other bathroom up and running so they can use that one while we're working on this one. So do not feel the first day or the second day you've got to kill yourself to get this done because they will have the other as long as it's up and running. Now, I will tell you, when you get into this tile here, you're going to find mold in that drywall behind it. I, I can promise you, you can see it from the basement. So, uh, but this is going to be a shower, white base, uh, walls are having the 11, 11, the 11 by 11 tile pattern in them new faucet, all that stuff. So everything pretty much in this bathroom, minus the vanity, everything goes. Well, minus the vanity and minus the top half of the walls. Um, the top half of the walls stay. You'll have to do some drywall patching up there because of where those holes were. You'll have to pull some wire. Um, trying to think. New mirror, new lights, new top, new faucet, vanity stays, new floor new toilet, new, new shower, new valves, flooring's going to be done by Burke holders, um, all the tile goes. If, if there's tile in this bathroom, it leaves. Um, I think that's it. Basement's exposed, no problem to get down there. It's all copper, ABS uh, plastic.